A very good morning to all my dear friends. I am Prashant Mavani and I warmly welcome all of you to study IQ. Let's have a positive start. Yesterday we were talking about ups and downs through which we go. And uh, see, I got a, I saw a comment that one of you said that uh, you are going through your downs. And I'm sure that at some point of time, uh, many of you will go through your downs and ups and things like that. It keeps on going. There is um, hardly anything we can do about it. But what we can do when we are feeling down, when we are up, make sure, as I told you, that uh, make the most out of it. But when we are down, should we allow time to uh, bring us out of this uh, down time? I think uh, we should not just rely on time. There should be some efforts from our side as well. So what we can do here is we can start by doing things uh, that are necessary. Just to do things that are necessary and uh, then start doing things uh, that are of course necessary but things that you can do or things that are possible uh, to do and gradually you will find that uh, uh, all of the sudden means gradually you will grow up uh, you will get better and better you will come out from this downtime and later on all of the sudden you will find that you are doing things that were looking impossible i'm not saying here, when you say impossible, I'm not saying that you are flying in the sky, right? When we say impossible, we are talking about this, you know, things that we have thought or uh, we thought that uh, these things are not achievable by me. I cannot do this thing. All these things will drop down. So I hope uh, this is a positive start for all of you. Today is Saturday. We have four articles on our table today. Uh, this one is about Srinagar. This one is about Sri Lanka. Uh, about Sri Lanka, there was a news item yesterday. I provided you a picture as well. Today, we will analyze that picture just in case if you have not uh, gone through that particular picture. I'm sure m most of you have gone through it. So, you know what's going on in Sri Lanka. Then you have this balancing conflict, conflicting claims. It is about this uh, 15th Finance Commission. Now, we have talked about 15th Finance Commission many a times. Uh, we have analyzed many different articles written by many different experts. Uh, so today we'll go through some, of course it is going to be very basic, but uh, we'll touch some important items in from this article. Uh, we are not taking it lightly. Of course, uh, there are some important points that we need to understand here. And this one is about questions of representation. It is talking about BJP party and uh, uh, this uh, article is saying that BJP party is not placing Muslim uh, candidates or it's uh, not giving tickets uh, to this Muslim candidates for MLAs and uh, uh, there are no ministers as well in uh, Uttar Pradesh or Gujarat so it's basically talking about uh, that uh, the roots of uh, this uh, thing this uh, so-called Hindutva thing that is going on or saffronization that is going on uh, has its roots uh, back in our constituent assembly so we'll go through this one very uh, interesting article this one is again uh, you will find many things would be conflicting uh, to what we believe or what you believe and uh, here of course uh, we should use our own uh, uh, our own wisdom our own experience uh, of course uh, we'll go through it now let's see the first editorial the first one is about uh, Srinagar. Now, remember, uh, Chief Minister of uh, Jammu and Kashmir has uh, decided to go for a ceasefire, isn't it? Uh, this was declared. And now uh, this was informed by Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, she informed the central government that all parties in uh, Jammu and Kashmir, they agree for a ceasefire declaration. And central government as well. Uh, has uh, decided to go for a sort of ceasefire or they should there will be no operations no military operation in Jammu and Kashmir during the month of holy month of uh, Ramzan or Ramadan so this is a welcome step this is a, you can say a first step it's not the last step of course but this is a first step uh, to to create a bit of peace in the state of Jammu and Kashmir now the thing is uh, as far as this uh, uh, cessation of operation is concerned or uh, you can say this at present when we say that uh, there will not be any operations we have to keep this thing in mind that direction has been given but uh, these directions are not uh, you can say uh, 
they don't say that you cannot do anything at all or this armed forces uh, right they will uh, throw their gum, guns in the river and they won't do anything no it's not like that they will not launch the security forces will not launch any operations this search and seizure operations and th things like that that won't take place uh, in this whole month of uh, ramzan but just in case if someone attacks them or if they have to protect the lives of innocent people then of course they can use necessary force now uh, this is a reality as well and it is a very sad reality of our country that uh, since july 2016 we have seen that violence in jammu and kashmir in valley particularly has gone up because of uh, or after the death of this uh, hejmul mujahideen commander burhan bani after that we have seen that uh, uh, this militancy this numbers have gone up uh, we have seen this thing that uh, funerals you know funerals of local militants uh, uh, when they are hunted down by security forces uh, when their funeral procession is going on at that point of time you will find many anti state protesters coming in and uh, it will also it also works as a, a new recruitment ground uh, for for young uh, people of uh, this portion to join this anti-state activities so this is a, a sad scenario of our country uh, particularly after this 2016 uh, incident the other thing is uh, ramzan effort uh, are not the first time that we are seeing in our country uh, it was a very bold decision or very brave decision of atal bihari Bajpayee back in 2000 uh, to start this uh, Ramzan effort and uh, remember in 1999 we had this Kargil conflict and right after one year if we are going for this Ramzan effort then this is of course a a brave move by then Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee uh, in terms of violence uh, Kashmir at present is uh, spiraling out if you compare what used to be there and what it is now it is getting more and more severe nowadays it could be many there could be many different reasons behind it. It could be uh, technology, you know, communication methods have improved. So this could, you know, keep this uh, gas uh, or this supply of gas. When I say gas, I mean to say this fire or this whole, you know, agenda uh, keeps on getting new energy because of new videos and new messages and communication. So this could be one of the reason. And... Uh, uh, what we are seeing now is that uh, so far in 2018 right we are talking about till in 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 the first nearly six months right it's only we are in may at present uh, about two means already half of the may has gone by so in f five and a half months uh, we have seen 64 uh, suspected terrorists have been hunted down by security forces then as well Right, uh, the local police is, has said that 69 local youth have joined this militancy. 35 of them have joined it in the wake of this April 1st operation. So, these things are means uh, uh, we need uh, more on this uh, discussion point of view. You know, uh, this uh, Mr. Sharma, who is a special representative, uh, more active work needs to be done and. Uh, uh, a political outreach uh, right uh, uh, should be there uh, we need all the parties what we are finding is many a times this uh, local parties they are against uh, this government because of political uh, brownie points and things like that so this sort of things will not help at the end of the day you know recently we saw this incident of uh, school bus was being targeted a small kid somewhere around five six year old kid was uh, uh, got hurt because of this uh, stone pelting incident on school bus can you imagine this thing a person from Chennai lost his life uh, he was a tourist over there in and because of this sort of incidents you know say you have this a very f tiny amount of people taking part in this uh, stone pelting and all this activities but because of this thing majority of 99 percent of people of Jammu and Kashmir who are seeking peace and development they have to face all this uh, negativity they have to face this defamation uh, they have to face uh, a loss of uh, employment opportunity and uh, livelihood opportunities because uh, less tourists will come now you know after this chennai incident school bus incident is going to create panic in upbringing of children and things like that so 
Prime Minister Modi is going to visit uh, uh, Jammu and Kashmir today. He will be there. Today is Saturday, so he will be there. Uh, and uh, means uh, it's not that every Saturday he's there. Uh, it was in news that on Saturday, Prime Minister is going to visit Jammu and Kashmir. So now let's wait and watch uh, what his message will be uh, whilst he's there in Jammu and Kashmir. And uh, if he chooses his words right and if uh, the delivery of message is right, then we can see a peace uh, at least for a month. And this can help this Jammu and Kashmir government to take a little bit of control on what's going on in the streets of Jammu and Kashmir. With this, uh, Study IQ provides pen drive and tablet courses for various different exams. As you can see on your screen, we cover SSC and bank courses, UPSC, UPSC optional, defense exams, state level exams, and there are other exams which you cannot see on your screen. But when you visit our website, you will find all important details about our pen drive and tablet courses. Let me tell you one thing that they are designed by the best faculties of our country. So the quality that you get from our pen drive and tablet courses is going to be off top of the range. If you want to download the PDF of uh, today's discussion, you will get it from uh, my Facebook page. I will share a link for you guys on my Facebook page as well as Twitter handle. I will request you guys here that if you learn something from today's discussion, then please don't forget to pass your like and again you are regular followers you are brand ambassador of uh, this particular video i am not you are the ones uh, so make sure that you do share this lecture with other people as well thank you very much for sharing this lecture and passing your likes and now nine years after this is about this sri lanka's civil war i still remember that uh, at that point of time i was not that much up to date with the news and everything but I still remember this uh, 18th May 2009 when this news came out that uh, a long civil war in Sri Lanka has finally uh, come to an end. And uh, it was, I means here and there, you know, that as a general awareness thing, we were aware about this thing that things were not right in Sri Lanka. But uh, after nine years, when we go through the situation or ground reality, we find that Things are even not right now as well as we are speaking, right? Uh, things are not uh, that fine in Sri Lanka because what is happening or what what's going on in Sri Lanka? See, on 18th May uh, uh, 2018, uh, that is uh, yesterday, people in this part, this is uh, Mulai Tivu. Mulai Tivu is uh, here. This one you can see here, right? So this is Mulai Tivu here. And uh, this Tamil people basically living in this portion, particularly in north and eastern portion, uh, they assembled here and uh, this they assembled in this place to mark this day, this uh, anniversary of this civil war as a, a, a sort of, uh, you know, uh, to remember all those people, all their loved ones who were killed by security forces. So they gathered here to... Uh, you know, share their uh, grief, uh, grief, and uh, you know, to share their pain and and the things uh, that they are suffering from. It's not just about uh, their past; it is about their present as well as their future. That is very dark. Uh, as per United Nations estimate, forty thousand people have died in this uh, uh, civil war of Sri Lanka, and we are talking about a small island country. Again, it is very important for us as far as uh, Sri Lanka is concerned. It is part of our neighborhood. It is uh, this portion, as I told you, you find Tamil people, Sri Lankan Tamils, and they have a sort of connection with our uh, our people as well. Uh, when I say our people, I mean to say people living in Tamil Nadu. They have this connection, uh, a sort of uh, bond that is connecting these people of Jaffna. Of course, when it comes to fish, uh, fishing and other things, they are against each other. But anyways, whenever you find this sort of atrocities being conducted, then there is a sort of uh, protest in Tamil Nadu as well, uh, asking the central government, because defense as well as uh, external affairs is uh, under the reign, or you can say it is... It is an area that is looked after by central government. So there is always an appeal. Uh, I still, you know, this uh, fisherman issue, uh, you find also this uh, fisherman issue. Of course, it is more about people of Tamil Nadu. But when it comes to this sort of things, uh, then we find this demand 
raised by chief ministers of Tamil Nadu many times and they appeal to central government and then central government will have a chat with this administration or you know this main people main leaders of Sri Lanka now southern Sinhalese people right political leadership I'm talking about yesterday they celebrated this day as uh, as war heroes day they they hailed this efforts of all those soldiers who have laid down their lives in ending this civil war so you can what we see here we see some deep cracks uh, it's been nine years nine years is uh, in terms of this pain uh, through which the people have gone through it's uh, it's not that long time they can remember it just like yesterday and uh, for other people it is you know a matter of celebration so basically there are severe creates or cracks in uh, the society of uh, Sri Lanka we find here that uh, as per the deal that uh, land will be given back to the people of this or Tamil people living in this portion and this portion here uh, they will get their land back but if you go through this uh, figures here you will find that still things are not sorted out uh, we find infrastructure facilities are lacking here there are so many people behind the bars as well uh, we find uh, so many people are, are are still missing there is no record of uh, what happened with these people 60,000 to 1 lakh people uh, so this things are still there is a demand and this thing is still uh, you know as active as it was uh, before 2009 now uh, this two different as I told you there is a deep crack and uh, this creates this sort of negativity that we find is definitely not not good for uh, Sri Lanka or, or th for the people of Sri Lanka the other thing is uh, ethnic division this is a very important line here because of this war right uh, this ethnic division you can say has outlived the war the war took place uh, if you go back to the history then it all started with this language uh, right uh, minority not given their rights and things like that and uh, this turned out into a sort of uh, armed struggle and uh, later on uh, we find this at present what we find that war is over but this ethnic division has not uh, got over yet uh, in 2015 when this government uh, Siri Sena's government who is president of Sri Lanka and you have Vikramasinghe Vikramasinghe is chief minister of this northern uh, state or province when they came in power they came with uh, or they said or they promised to the people of Sri Lanka that they will bring peace uh, they will bring this political solution but still today that thing has not been delivered and this is not uh, a good sign if this if they can't deliver this thing and if we find you know a couple of days ago we were talking about this uh, division in in political power as well uh, president and prime minister they are coming from different parties and they are not with each other so this sort of uh, things will create more troubles and it will make its uh, democratic process a bit more weaker then you will find other parties uh, coming in like uh, Rajapaksha's party may come in and uh, then it may create some more problems uh, so they cannot these two important leaders they cannot let down uh, the people of uh, or Tamil people living in Sri Lanka and uh, this is an opportunity in their hands as they are in power they can make the most out of this opportunity and try to work or make this society into a more just society because uh, unemployment is there uh, in in this portion here uh, most of the people they are uh, they are facing or they are uh, you know depth ridden so they have to pay high interest rate and this is creating more poverty for them uh, the pain can be you cannot say that you will forget everything that happened with your family or your loved ones but if you have this bright future in front of you then at least that pain will become a bit more bit less severe than becoming a bit more severe moving on it is about questions of representation now this uh, particular article is talking about Bharatiya Janta Party now of course it is a choice of Bharatiya Janta Party uh, if it wants Muslim or Parsis or Christians etc but the thing why we need to talk about this article is 
it's not just political, right? Uh, the thing is that uh, at present, Bharatiya Janata Party is the largest political party in our country. And if Bharatiya Janata Party, as per this article, and if we go through this thing, we find that uh, uh, the sworn in, uh, swearing in ceremony of Gujarat and Uttar Pradesh, uh, there is no minister in Gujarat and Uttar Pradesh. Uh, I'm talking about uh, local ministers, right? Uh, the state minister. No Muslim is, uh, I beg your pardon, I mean to say that no Muslims are being given this uh, minister rank in both the states. And of course, both the states are run by BJP. We also find that uh, uh, BJP's decision not to f field Muslim candidates in Uttar Pradesh in 2014 and 17, and in uh, Gujarat in 2017, and now in Karnataka as well. So this, uh, this is indicating that uh, this strategy is working because large political party as i told you and it has been winning so if this is something that it is doing and if other parties right other political parties will you know uh, copy paste this thing that you don't field muslim candidates then what will happen uh, with the people of our country or muslims particularly in our country that they won't be able to represent they will not become political elites and at the same time uh, their uh, you know their political voice uh, uh, they want to be able to present their political voice and this is something that is not right as well the other thing is uh, this article is arguing that uh, the root of all these problems they go back to this constituent assembly at that point of time uh, there was a demand for this communal electorates uh, communal electorates if you don't know what it is then basically muslim voting for muslim candidate Christians voting for Christian candidate uh, so basically all minorities right they will have this reserved seat in legislative assembly in uh, parliament and they will vote for uh, so this was demanded at that point of time communal electorate and this was uh, rejected and reserved seats uh, was demanded but it was approved for this uh, SCSTs only so sardar patel was the chairman of advisory committee and uh, he persuaded all these uh, minorities to not demand for this thing and uh, it is also said uh, in this article that uh, the biographer uh, raj mohan gandhi who wrote uh, patel's biography he said that uh, sardar patel was uh, very happy uh, when this uh, demand was dropped by all this minority community now again this view uh, have to verify the fact I am not uh, that much sure about this thing to be honest I don't want to say that yes I know or I have gone through this thing I'm not sure about this thing so I will try to verify this uh, fact whether this is right or wrong but anyways the thing is uh, uh, Christians right they were uh, also been persuaded that they should not demand for this reserved seats and later on we saw this uh, means because they were promised that uh, the right to propagate Christianity a slew of anti-conversion laws came out later on uh, so what is the main conclusion here in this article the thing is uh, see the problem in our society at present is that uh, because uh, in our, if we go back in our history, uh, then we have, uh, you know, this division, this divide and rule. And after that, there was this uh, Muslim League and there was Indian Congress. And uh, a couple of days ago, we were talking about Muslim League and Indian Congress, right? Uh, Muslim League, uh, the main, uh, you know, reason behind its uh, inception was uh, to become a voice and to... to to stand there for the rights of Muslims uh, in India and there is no harm in it as well uh, but later on uh, it was uh, it's not the Muslims but it was the leader Muhammad Dali Jinnah who diverted this whole attention and then we saw this partition and after that we have uh, seen many riots and other things as well now don't we know this thing that uh, people are fooled by many representatives right uh, you find these people that they will create fear right uh, they will create this fear that if you don't vote if you don't have someone from our community and I'm not talking about Muslims only uh, this happens with each and every community uh, 
everyone, right? It happens with rich people. It happens with poor people. It happens in east, west, north, south, central part, higher caste, lower caste, uh, whatever. You can go on. You will find this thing. So it is there in our country. Now, how we can get rid of it? There are many good examples uh, in our country that uh, Hindu represent means a person who is representative of people. He belongs. He is basically Hindu uh, as far as religion is concerned, but he would be living in Muslim majority area. And he would be looking after, he or she would be looking after, and they are looking after uh, this demand and rights, and they are working as a voice of Muslim people. Vice versa is true as well. Uh, we were talking about this thing. Remember that when it, when we were talking about this uh, space, this whole uh, introduction of this space uh, technology in our country at that point of time, a church uh, basically gave away this. Uh, we are talking about this South India. I forgot the name of that place. Uh, very famous place uh, because it has this. Uh, equator going from magnetic e equator passing from it so a, a father gave away this church land uh, for for the development for uh, for the development of science in our country so this sort of fears that we find right are basically fears that are created and that are acquired uh, here you can see this uh, statement this article is saying that ideal polity is utopian that means these things that we have talked are are more you can say they are good in books but not in reality but i will argue this thing that most of the people right they think or their thinking or their expectation is average and this is reality right they don't think out of the box uh, why can't we see in why can't means india we cherish this thing we are a country of unity in diversity isn't it we respect every religion we have few people here who are troublemakers but generally speaking people have been celebrating all this uh, different uh, uh, religious festivals and you know things so these are the positive things if we sit down and think about it then we find that there are so many positive things out there and it it will be responsibility of each and every uh, individual right uh, if they are wearing a cap then they have to uh, become brand ambassador of cap if they are wearing tika then they have to become brand ambassador of tika you know what i mean and i would also like to remind here of what we find in junagadh that is in gujarat uh, ashok's inscription that you cannot uh, defame others religion if you defame others religion that basically you are defaming your own religion this is our history this is our culture of our country so this sort of negativity uh, should not be given any place in our country and uh, whatever the history has been i'm i'm not sure whether sardar patel was uh, he took this stand uh, or whether he was whether he expressed this satisfaction when this thing was dropped whether this thing was dropped we have to analyze it from this angle as well whether he was satisfied because in future we don't want to see this uh, communal clashes in our country or was there a racial or communal angle to it so these are the questions that we have to ask ourselves but anyways uh, we are young generation and uh, the pattern is in our hand uh, so it's up to us what sort of mindset we are uh, we are inculcating with this uh, moving on to balancing conflict it is about this uh, terms of reference we know this thing is going on 2011 population I don't count it, count 1971, then revenue deficit grants. We talked about revenue. I explained revenue deficit last time when we were discussing these things and conditionalities that a central government cannot put conditions that you should spend money here and there. It should be left with state governments. All these things are right, no doubt. But when it comes to this uh, 2011 population, this population thing is a big problem, right? Uh, the problem is if we calculate or if we keep 1971 population as a base then we are taking data that is 50 year old this is a big problem the other thing is in principle fiscal transfer or financial transfer is determined in per capita terms and then scaled up to cater to entire population living in the state uh, the scaling right a large 
larger the size of population the larger is the magnitude of fiscal transfer uh, but this should not be the only criteria we should keep in mind equity or equality uh, the money that we are transferring whether it is on equity basis whether it is efficiently utilized by the state or not if we see major federation bigger federations like canada and australia then they use up to date data they don't use 50 40 year old uh, data and we had this thing in our state as well like uh, say for example southern states are claiming that uh, their population has gone down uh, but at the same time we can also find this mineral rich states like assam then you have chhattisgarh jharkhand and other states at that point of time there was a new rule called a, f a freight equalization so there was a subsidy provided on transportation of coal so all this uh, electricity producing um, factories or not factories but these industries were set up here in southern states so coal was uh, found from this part and then it was transported to southern states and because of this thing more jobs were created over here as well so this sort of arguments and every state would be arguing they want this and that so it is a bit challenging task for finance commission as well but the main thing is tax base it should go up uh, and the more tax that is provided by a particular state of course uh, that's a state more productive states uh, should be given at the same time hand holding should be provided to states that are not performing well so let's leave it on finance commission uh, to deal with it and we find a news item that finance panel defense terms before vice president vice president uh, met this uh, members of this finance commission uh, and uh, he was briefed by this 15th Finance Commission members that uh, this all rumors or the things that are going, this demand that are going on are uh, basically not uh, right. Uh, the other thing they have said that uh, money will be uh, distributed, keeping in mind equity and all the rules and regulation. And uh, they also said that uh, they will take into consideration the current economic situation and challenges and based on that they will distribute the money then you have this important news Karnataka house to decide yadura pass faith today fate today and supreme court has uh, stepped in supreme court has said yesterday we were talking about this thing that 15 days is a bit extra time for horse trading so supreme court has said that it should be done asap a governor has uh, appointed a pro term speaker that is part of uh, government's uh, duty to uh, governor's duty to appoint pro term speaker so let's uh, wait for uh, today and we will get uh, result by the end of today governor's discretion has limit uh, i have clubbed this uh, article or this news item together uh, this was said by supreme court in 2016 uh, police questions kejriwal implement cavity draft scheme before rain has been said by supreme court Good news is that uh, monsoon may hit Kerala on May 29th. And uh, then you have this uh, Zojila opens, uh, right? Uh, these are some specifications of Jozila, Zojila. So go through it. And uh, online resources for academicians soon. National Resource Center. Uh, BSF Jawan killed. And uh, we also find this uh, post harvest. The harvest season is over. So. Uh, ceasefire violation has gone up. Uh, EU moves to save Iran nuclear deal. Uh, United Nations slams Israel over this Gaza violence. Uh, bad news, uh, Texas shooting, eight killed. Uh, guess this prices of oil going up can kick this uh, uh, import bill higher to 50 billion. It could be extra 50 billion for us. And uh, you have this eSIMs and last page you find this india's fresh water stock is in danger dear friends i have gone through your uh, answers i uh, can find many good answers there right uh, you have talked about many lengthy but uh, good answers as far as this elimination of fake news is concerned i can remember a couple of uh, names uh, vishal uh, incognito ashok uh, i think vaishali so you people have uh, provided uh, good answers i have gone through it and i will reckon other students as well to take active part in this answer session and uh, learn from your from your colleagues or from your mates uh, they are pro uh, pro providing answers you can add some points if you think that this point can be elaborated further then do it uh, this will help all of you with this uh, i have two questions for you i'll go through 
some questions if i find something uh, that we can discuss then i will stick it in the comment section of today's uh, video lecture I, I will also notify you on my facebook uh, that's everything in today's discussion thank you very much jai hind